Distillation is simply a reduction process, same as uh, you do with your uh, sauces. Reduction is a liquid that's been boiled down until the volume is reduced by evaporation. It typically would increase the alcohol content by volume. So if you double the still and triple the still, you'd have more alcohol. Uh, that would be marked on the bottle that indicates the number of times it's been put through the reduction process. Single malt scotch is generally referred, uh, preferred by scotch lovers because it retains the heavy, smoky flavor. For those who like a lighter scotch, they would most likely order a blended scotch. So the real scotch drinkers are very proud. Um, drink single malt, and if you're going to buy them some, uh, if you're going to have them over for dinner, they'll be sure to tell you that they like single malt. Let me give you some hints on bartender's guides, which you should definitely have in your possession. Uh, that would be uh, Mr. Boston's is the old standard, been around forever. You can get those for $10 on Amazon.com. The Las Vegas Review Bartender's Guide, you probably never heard of. It's a nice little pocket size. And it's about $6. There's the ISBN number, so you could uh, find that probably, um, I would guess, on Amazon, too, or Google it. So those have recipes, glassware, adequate serving tips, so you keep that handy. Somebody orders a drink you never heard of, you bend down like you're going to get some ice, and you flip through, and you find the drink, and you come up, yes, sir, we can make that for you. Let's go through some different kind of drinks with the different types of liquor. Bahama Mama has several different rums, including a high-proof rum, coconut rum, coffee liqueurs and lemon and pineapple juices so this would look like maybe a test question the test might say uh, which one of the following are coffee liqueurs or made with a coffee liqueur daiquiri would be rum lime juice and a little powdered sugar a hurricane new orleans favorite dark rum pineapple juice orange juice, grenadine served over ice, and garnished with a red wedge of pineapple. Mai Tai, a mixture of rums including 151 proof rum, orange curacao, lime juice, simple syrup, which is sugar and water. This drink is garnished with mint, cherry, and pineapple. Floating drinks are a great way to dazzle your friends and your customers. A bartender needs to master two skills to float one alcohol on top of another to layer a drink. You must uh, be able to pour the alcohol over the back of a spoon so it flows gently down into the drink and evenly. If you, a large flow is going to sink and destroy the efforts. A bartender must know the specific gravity of alcohol. The densest alcohol should go on the bottom of the glass so that it can support everything on top. So the densest or the thickest what you would put in uh, first and then you would layer them by the lighter, lighter, lighter and uh, so that they stay that way in the glass. So the way you would do that would you would uh, pour in grenadine, which is heavy, then creme de menthe, then benedictine, and finally Bacardi 51 being the lightest would float on top. Some gin drinks, a Belmont cocktail is gin, raspberry syrup, and cream. A gin martini is gin and a small amount of vermouth. As few as a drop or two, the real gin lovers, they'll say uh, just, you know, like two or three or four drops, like, you know, I'm not going to taste that. That's because they don't want to say they're a straight gin drinker. Uh, so it's gin and a small amount of vermouth can be shaken or stirred and garnished with green olives or a twist. A Gibson is the same as a gin martini, but it's garnished with several cocktail onions. Tom Collins is gin with lemon juice and club soda and is sweetened sometimes and served over ice.
Some whiskey drinks. A boiler maker is a whiskey shot with a beer chaser. A highball is whiskey and ginger ale served over ice. Mint julep is bourbon whiskey with sprigs of mint, simple syrup, or powdered sugar, water, and ice. Another New Orleans special. Now as a reminder, the ones that are red are the ones that you need to write down, remember, for testing purposes. Presbyterian is bourbon whiskey with ginger ale and club soda. A rusty nail is Scotch whiskey with Drambuie, which is another Scottish beverage. And a 7 and 7 is Seagram 7 whiskey and 7 up served over ice. A B-52 is Grand Marnier, Kahlua, and Bailey's Irish Cream, either mixed or layered. So an example of layered drinks would include a B-52. Fuzzy Navel is ice, peach snaps, and orange juice. Long Island Iced Tea is vodka, rum, gin, triple sec, and tequila with a splash of cola. Tastes like Long Island iced tea, goes down like iced I mean tastes like iced tea, goes down like iced tea. <laughs> you have enough of them and you'll know you are not drinking iced tea. A mimosa is equal parts orange juice and sparkling wine. Some vodka drinks. A black Russian is vodka with a coffee liqueur served over ice. If cream is added, then it's called the white Russian. So the test question might be which drinks are made with uh, vodka. That would include a black Russian. Bloody Mary is vodka, spicy tomato juice, which includes Worcestershire sauce and Tabasco sauce and you would garnish that with a celery stock. A Cosmopolitan or Cosmo is vodka with orange liqueur, lime juice and cranberry juice shaken with ice and served and strained. And a Kamikaze is vodka, lime juice and orange liqueur. So test question might say which drinks are made with vodka. That would be a Black Russian, Cosmopolitan, Aaron, and a Kamikaze. Now I'm pausing a little bit at the end of each slide, but I don't know how fast you read or how much you want to write. Or, so don't forget, you can um, Put the uh, slideshow on pause if you need to uh, write more information. The glassware, a cocktail glass, is a cone-shaped cocktail glass. is made for a drink that is shaken or stirred with ice in another container and then strained into the glass. Margarita glass is an oversized champagne glass. It's for margaritas on the rocks or with crushed ice. A cordial glass resembles a stemmed shot glass and can be used as a shot glass or for cordials. So it's a shot glass with a stem on it. And a champagne glass is a wide flat bowl with a thin stem and uh, if you wondered how did they figure out that uh, shape of that, that's in the uh, shape of Queen Helen of Troy's breasts. 
little known factoid that you now know. Margarita is tequila, lime or lemon juice, or sweet and sour, triple sec, and optionally you can have it with salt or without salt, and you can uh, normally you would garnish it with a lime. Variations include a golden margarita, which is top shelf vodka, and a Cadillac margarita, which is uh, you float some Grand Marnier on top. Tequila Sunrise is tequila with orange juice and grenadine. And a Tequila Sunset is tequila, grapefruit juice, and grenadine. Putting the correct garnish in the drink shows you know what you're doing. You're a professional and that you care about the customer. Uh, customers will complain. They know if they drink a certain drink, they know what goes in it. And if you don't know what goes in it, then uh, they're not impressed with you. Some common garnishes are Bloody Mary, gets a celery stock. Margarita, gets salt on the rim, optionally, plus a slice of lime. Martini gets green olives or a twist of lemon. Sometimes they'll ask for a whole pile of green olives so they're getting dinner while they're having their drink. The Gibson has several cocktail onions. Gin and tonic gets a slice of lime. Mai Tai gets a cherry, a slice of pineapple, and mint. Mocktails means there's no alcohol. A fruit smoothie would be uh, many fruits mixed together. Yogurt, orange juice might be added. Fuzzy lemon fizz would be peach nectar topped off with a lemon lime soda. The reason for having mocktails is so it looks sort of like a cocktail so the people don't feel too out of place with everybody else and it looks like they're having the same drinks as everybody. Shirley Temple is the typical kid drink ginger ale that's been sweetened and colored with grenadine. Any virgin drinks, uh, many drinks, can be made without alcohol simply by replacing the alcohol drink with something non-alcoholic such as ginger ale or sparkling water.